Nessa rodada, o mineiro Felipe Preguiça enfrenta Delson Pérez. His opponent, the veteran, mixed martial arts veteran, jiu-jitsu veteran, no gi grappler, Ben de Jumbo, former Gracie Baja team member. Now he represents uh, Ruby Pitbull. And here we go, Ben de Jumbo against Preguiça. A little bit of that jingo to start out with. See he's moving his feet. A little capoeira. Straight to guard. Look at that. Preguiça, it looked like he was going straight to arm lock there. Yeah. Now it switching to the leg. Smart. He's got a, a great anti game one for those people who try to climb, those people who try to finish. Let's see how much time he's been spending in the kimono and see if. Uh, as of late, because this is the, the best of the best right here. Well, Pedro Shumbo's hips, you know, when he gets when he starts passing, as you saw kind of a glimpse of it, he's able to throw those hips side to side, uh, you know, a lot based on his capoeira background, very similar to Hubens Cobrinha Charles. And, you know, it'll be interesting to see how he defends the attack of Preguisa. But man, Preguisa's attack so far, he's just been so dominant, so precise, so prefer perfect. It's almost like, you know, his, his attacks is very Hodger Gracie-esque, you know. Nothing crazy, slow, methodical, but precise and very aggressive. This is where the new school jiu-jitsu might play in a little bit. <clears throat> He's able to, to get Peggy Shumbo off balance. He, yeah, there it is, a sweep. Pagisa up 2 nothing. four minutes and a half left in the match. I can tell you firsthand through training with Personally, with uh, Pedro Shumbo, he's got great base too. So it's a huge compliment to Preguisa for taking him off his base like that. I've seen him many times with a lot of top, top opponents. And not only not only that, I mean, he's a, obviously he's a, he's a champion. You know, he's a old school versus new school right here. This is like the third generation of jiu-jitsu against the fourth. Like you said, old school against new school. Preguisa, when he was probably just starting, was looking up to guys like Pedro Shumbo, representing Gracie Baja at the time, now representing Kulubi Pichbo. Here we go. Benno on top in the White Storm Kimono once again. Big thank you to uh, Storm Kimonos for sponsoring this event. Preguisa. Doing a great job, pressure passing on top, flattening out. Bajishumbo stepping over, securing the position. Gonna rack up. Oh, switching to the pack. Beautiful job there. Pegues has just been so dominant. His technique is just amazing. And this is going hand in hand with what uh, Durin was talking about before. He said. He was talking about the last one. Whoever went to the back first was going to be, uh, be the, in the losing side. And, and Beji Shumbo being a, having so much time, spent so much time wow. in the MMA scene, training for MMA, he's more uh, more prone to be in the top position, not as accustomed to, to being on the back like that. And, you know, the versatility of, whoa, whoa, whoa. of uh, Panda, I think that's one of the biggest, you know, traits that he has because he's got a sick guard, but his balance and you know the way he's able to counter your uh, sweep attempts from the top position very very technical he's just so dominant very very d i mean you know he's a homolo bahal student um i guess his brother is tioshiku very 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 tough competitor from brazil he used to compete a lot uh, in the state of new york um you know but uh back in half guard there yeah but he was unable to get the underhook he's real flattened out again so it's good chance he's going to get that guard pass again you can see his face is Excellent dominance from the top there from uh, Preguisa. But yeah, you're right. He's, uh, Preguisa's got a, got a family of uh, athletes and excellent trainers pushing him forward, and helping him to maintain that top position in the world of Jiu Jitsu. Preguisa, much taller than Peggy Shumbo. So I think that, you know, definitely has an, he has an advantage there. He's able to defend a lot of the, you know, a lot of the movements that Peggy Shumo was able to make, he's not able to really 
uh, make a connection, I think, on the hips or, you know, really, really control the, the distance on any of the positions that Pergwisa puts him in. So it's very difficult to defend, especially when the person's that much taller. You know, that you, if you look at a guy like Marcelo Garcia's game, he really opts for quick movements, trying to get to the back, trying to get to X guard, as opposed to half guard and, you know, as much. But uh, once you're stuck in this half guard and the person's on top a lot much, that much bigger than you, if you don't have your, your sweeping game down, you're gonna get passed. Pena almost got the pass there, racks up another advantage. Pena up seven to nothing with two advantages as well. Bejashumbo down. Oh, beautiful job by Felipe Pena. And I can't really tell if he's got the arm entangled. He's got a hold of it. He's, let's see. Defending, defending. Uh, he's got a Kimura grip there. Bejashumbo was defending the foot. Yeah, definitely he's holding off that leg. Not sure what grip Pena still has. He's got that long, lanky, strong body. Oh, and Pedishumbo broke out. That's that experience that plays off right there. Pedishumbo trying to step over the leg of Felipe Pena. Pena recomposes. Fifty-two seconds left in this match. Felipe Preguisa Pena on the bottom with the White Storm Kimonos against. Delson Pedishumbo on top with the black kimono. 39 seconds left. Preguisa up seven to nothing with three advantages. If, unless Pedishumbo goes for something crazy here, he is going to lose this match. Wow, what a great pass. I guess he heard me. <laughs> he must have. There he goes, gets the three. Can he transition to the back? If Pena, there he has the, he has the window right there. But it looks like he's motioning to get that arm. He is, we know he's Eight seconds just... left. He's got the arm. Kimura grip. Can he finish it? Steps over. Three Two seconds, seconds left. left. Can he get the arm lock? Oh! Beautiful job. What an exciting finish. The crowd goes wild. Great job by Delson Pejishumbo. Almost surprising the jiu-jitsu world. Almost submitting Felipe Pregisipena. He's still here. Got, he's got the experience. He's been around since day, you know, not day one, but he's been around a long time. But the new king is here, Pugisa. Gets another win, scores another four points in the standings. 